Hello everyone, this is another episode of Low First Solar and Space Weather Data Workshop. In this episode, we will continue talking about the interferometric data processing, more specifically uh, playing with the visibility data. Usually, you don't need to look into the visibility because there, are, there is usually a default uh, data processing pipeline that starts with the raw data and to the uh, calibrated data into the imaging and uh, you can just take the image into your science research but if you're interested in in what it looks like in the visibility you need to export these visibilities to uh, other tools like python then you need to dig into the measurement set file so it's basically a big table like this containing many rows like millions of rows Every row is one visibility data entry at one time point and uh, at one baseline. The baseline is this uh, UVW vector. So this is a layout of a measurement set file. Uh, it is a folder to start with. It is a self-described binary data folder. Uh, so inside of this folder, there are uh, some subfolders. These subfolders are the header containing the information of the antenna, the, the data description, the pointing, the observation polarization, processor, and so on. So the orange part is uh, the big chunk of data uh, containing millions of rows of the visibilities. There is a more detailed uh, data uh, layout description at this link. So please check out if you're interested. So before we look into the visibilities, we, we need to uh, first uh, clarify how the data is organized. So in, in the measurement set file, there are many rows and it's organized in order of baselines and then time. So for example, let's say we have 1000 baselines. So the data is organized like this. The first 1000 rows from row zero to row 99, it's uh, the first time index, uh, index zero. And uh, the row 1000 is uh, time index one, the second time frame. And uh, baseline zero, baseline one, baseline two, and so on. So it, once again, it's organized in order of baseline and then time. So keep this in mind, it will make uh, the data query much more efficiency. So the data query is done with the Casa Core Taco, the table query language. It's very similar to SQL. So if you have uh, experience of uh, programming with SQL, you will feel very comfortable with Taco because the language, the grammars are almost the same. For example, if you want to select the data column from this uh, measurement set, this is uh, the command uh, in Python. So select the data from measurement set file where time uh, is uh, larger than the starting time. If you want to select uh, all the data rows, you just uh, uh, select the data from this measurement set file. So yeah, this is just a simple example. There is a, uh, also, there is a more detailed documentation at this link. Please check out if you're interested. So next is a hands-on session. It's in a Jupyter notebook. The first cell is always some imports. Uh, most importantly is this uh, Casa Core. Uh, we import uh, Casa Core tables as PT. And this is a measurement set file or folder we are going to look into. Uh, first, we can see in the antenna headers and see what is in these antennas. So this is the name of the antennas. We are querying the name out of this antenna. And um, CS means core station, RS means remote station. And uh, we can get this index of core stations out of this uh, name series. And uh, with, uh, with the number of stations, 
we can easily calculate how many baselines we have. Very simple math. And after that, we can look into this uh, uh, observation header, on which we can see the frequency of this observation is about 150 megahertz. And um, from this, we can, with this line, we can, we can see how many time indexes we have. We have a uh, uh, 14,000 time indexes. And uh, from this time points, we are going to select uh, a few time frames out. For example, uh, 500, 501, and 508, for example. So, uh, so in order to extract these three time frames out of this measurement set, the most direct and uh, intuitive way to do this is uh, uh, a select with a few conditional terms, conditional statements. For example, we want cross correlation and only the core stations and this uh, this time points. Uh, so the taco uh, command can be written like this select the UVW baselines and the data. This is the data. Out of uh, the measurement set where these conditions must be satisfied, uh, and this will give you the uh, visibilities and uh, the baselines. But as you can see, it will take a few seconds to do this. Nine seconds, yeah. So the first things to mention is uh, uh, although these are are these terms are divided by and uh, uh, switching the order of these uh, uh, statements won't won't even change the result, but it will change the performance. For example, let's change this uh, uh, time selection to to the first. Uh, it will be much faster, like three seconds. So the first acceleration is to put the most selective term first if it's end, and uh, uh, to put uh, the least selective uh, first if it's or. So for, for this case, uh, the time index is, uh, is mostly false because we are selecting three time points out of uh, 14,000 time points. So yeah, it's mostly false. And if this term is false, it, it, it won't go on to check these three. Uh, so it saves a lot of time of checking this, uh, this three statement. Uh, back to the data structure. If we know the time index of uh, the data we want, we can already know the rows we we are going to select out, and we can form an array of the rows we are going to extract and direct uh, and directly index out the rows from the measurement set file. And uh, this is how we do that. Uh, we first select everything out of this uh, measurement set file. And uh, this is the first indexing. Uh, the, we, we select all the time points out of this uh, uh, table and form a subtable. And do the second time indexing for the baseline. For example, here we want uh, the cross correlations. Antenna one is uh, not equal to antenna two, and uh, and also we want the core station uh, correlations. So that can also be done here um, by uh, manipulating the antennas. For example, here we want to select out the antenna one is core station, antenna two is core station, and antenna one not equal to antenna two. 
and we select these uh, antennas out of this uh, column data columns the subtable and as we can see it's much much faster than the previous uh, which takes three seconds it takes only 400 uh, microseconds it's much much faster uh, but it could be even more faster if we are using the built-in indexing with limit command the limit is uh, uh, the taco built-in indexing but this uh, limit have a limit it, it can only deal with continuous or regular spaced indexing uh, for example, if we want to select as a data frame of 500 and 500 and uh, uh, 501 and 502, we can organize this uh, command like this. For example, uh, limit to 500, the indexing from 500 times n baseline to 503 times n baseline. This will select out the time index of 500, 501, and 502 into this sub uh, subtable, and the following are the same as previous. So, uh, for example, uh, this. So this three, uh, th th this two, this two code snippet are equivalent. Um, actually, we can test that because uh, this is uh, visibility to from this fast indexing method, and this is uh, the uh, visibility uh, extracted from this slow uh, conditional term selected method. And uh, this proves that this two method, the result of these two methods are the same. Uh, and uh, if we are selecting the continuous indexes like 500 and 501 and 502, and uh, we're using the faster one, yeah, this one. So um, th th that would be equivalent to this 500, 501, 502, th this method. So let's say, yeah, it's also equivalent. So when when we are selecting uh, the continuous time index, you can you you, you are more uh, recommended to use this built-in indexing tool uh, because it's the fastest uh, among all these methods. It takes only one hundred microsecond. Uh, Keep in mind that if you are not doing this correctly, it could take 10 seconds. So it's 100 times uh, acceleration. It is to say if you are using uh, this method instead of uh, this method, you will be 100 times faster, about 100 times faster uh, to do the uh, data import. And yeah, they're, they're importing the same uh, columns of data and same rows of the data. It, it's totally equivalent, but uh, the performance can be hugely uh, different. <coughs> so as a summary, these are the takeaway messages. Uh, first of all, Casa Core and Taco can be used. It's a very handy tool for importing the visibility data into Python and for following an analysis. So first of all, Casa Core Taco is, is really a handy tool for importing the visibility data into Python for following analysis. And uh, then is three tips for the uh, efficiency or performance of data importing. First of all, when doing the taco, the order of uh, conditional statement matters. Uh, so always put the false like first in the and statement, and always put the true like uh, statement uh, first in the or statement. And uh, the second uh, important thing is uh, uh, do more indexing and do less conditional statement. 
uh, in the selecting uh, because uh, indexing is uh, much more efficiency the conditional statement is like uh, uh, picking up every visibilities and check if it it satisfies the conditions and uh, carry it into python but indexing is like go directly to this data chunk and uh, carry it to python so it, it it is much more efficiency in in this way uh, and the third uh, is uh, to use taco butene indexing limit uh, if uh, if you are selecting out a continuous time index or if you are selecting uh, a regular spaced uh, columns so this is all for this uh, episode um, thank you